Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The yoke of glory. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson. Then Matthew chapter 5, verses 10 to 12. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake, rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Second lesson. First Peter chapter 4 verses 13 to 16. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached, for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief. Or as an idolat, as a, or as an evil doer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Golden text, Romans chapter eight, verses sixteen to seventeen. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then hears, hears of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, but we may be also glorified together. Introductory Spiritual Chorus the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The part of blessedness, brethren, it is always pathetic and amazing to note that you do not know your various gifts and portions in God's kingdom and the relationship between you and God, despite the fact that we are partakers of God's glory. It is said, Man, know thyself, and you shall know all things. As I said before now, I knew myself and everything about what I was coming to accomplish before I came into the world. And I came with everything. I am doing everything with perfect happiness. And I am very sure of all that I am doing. For I know where I have come from and where I am going. And for that reason, there is no problem. But your problem here is that you do not know where you have come from and where you are going. Which is the identity of the children of God. As a result of that, you have problems. You quarrel, you fight, steal, you tell lies and commit murder. Have you now heard what is required of the children of God? Today your ears have been opened, your eyes equally have been opened, your 
intellect has been broadened you have now witnessed the glory of God some of you lament that I am being hated or persecuted and when someone else does something wrong it will be attributed to me this is so because you may be accused of committing one crime or the other even while you are in your house if somebody dies in your neighborhood such would be attributed to you and you would be nicknamed a murderer brethren are you ignorant of the fact that persecution and false accusation are the identity of the children of God? Now is the time of revelation and also the time to open out everything. Is this not that garment of glory? Examine the first lesson so that you would know that you are the one you are supposed to always jump up with joy when you walk on the road henceforth having known this truth would you be able to contain the surging and overwhelming joy let our first lesson be re-examined first lesson matthew chapter 5 verses 10 to 12 Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Blasphemy against brotherhood. Brethren, have you heard that scripture? The fact is, from the first day you are baptized into brotherhood, you have started to taste of all manners of persecution, suffering, accusations, and so forth. There is nobody that has not attested to the persecution and suffering. The hideous activities of sorcerers, seducers, and detractors against members of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. This accounts for why many people have not been able to come to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. It is a known fact that even the tiniest creatures like the ants and the rats and murderers, thieves, the incapacitated, the wretched and even the destitute speak blasphemous words against brother out of the cross and star. Do you know the reason why this is done? Therefore, it is a thing of great joy to any brotherhood member to have borne these things. Tell me, what should be exasperating in these things? Tell me, what should be your annoyance if you should be persecuted? when you have invariably inherited this kingdom of God. The children of this kingdom must be persecuted. They must be accused, lied against, and have all manners of evil spoken against them because the kingdom bestowed unto you cannot be counted nor compared to those things. He said, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they which were before you. Can you see that the kingdom belongs to you? 
The children of this kingdom must be persecuted. They must be reviled, calamized. People must say every blasphemous thing that is conceivable by the human mind against you. This is because the glory that awaits you is indescribable. This is why we have to be exceedingly glad. The future glory is quite marvelous. It is not possible for us to compare the light persecution we experience with the great wonderful glory that awaits us. The glory is really great. We examined the second lesson. Second lesson, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 13 to 16. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. The way to the brotherhood. That is the instruction given unto you. It is blessed unto any man who endures tribulation, for when the Lord shall receive his crown of glory, ye shall be partakers of the glory, and the Spirit of God and the Spirit of mercy are in you. If you steal, tell lies, kill in the Roman Catholic Church, or among the Muslim, or other righteous or other religious organization, you would not have problems or be persecuted. Even the native doctors who hang cocks on the neck and indulging in sacrifice have no problem. Even when they eat the meat of their fellow human being, they are not seen as devilish. But the moment you are baptized into the brotherhood of the cross and star, you are accused of drinking human blood, of eating human flesh, of killing, and so forth. Such evil statements would be made against you, but there lies great joy ahead of you. This is a mark of identification of the children of God and of the glory of this kingdom. The kingdom and the glory of God as it is called constitute these petty things. The scripture is struck. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as one who eats fish eat meat, or a drunkard, or as one who poke their nose into other people's affairs. But if you suffer as a disciple of Christ, you should rejoice exceedingly. That is the great joy that accompanies the glory of the children of God. The whole world indulges in stealing in killing, in telling lies, in concoction of charms and other vices without problem. But the scripture admonishes 
that you should not suffer as those in the world, but you should suffer for the sake of Christ. Experience suffering because you do not eat meat or fish. You do not kill, do not tell lies or steal, or commit adultery, or indulge in sin and have association with evil. Our blessings come forth from such, and that is the joy unto us every time. The joy is so great that it is inexpressible. Some people wonder why a brotherhood child should weep. I say it is not weeping, rather it is the joy that awaits us. Our joy lies in doing these little things. What is it that the world would do to you? What would happen if you were thrown into prison or custody? Recall the experience of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. What they had when they were thrown into the burning furnace. If I may ask, did the fire consume them? Did they not start singing even in the burning furnace? But you who are here, do you sing? When the three of them raised the song, they became four in the fire. The fourth person was God. Have you now see the point? A similar case happened when Daniel was in the lion's den. These things are things of great joy unto the children of God. If you are accused, sing, dance, and rejoice. Even if the whole town should lie or speak blasphemous words against you, rejoice and be glad, for that is the power that is in brotherhood. Some people maintain that since they came into brotherhood, they have not been hated, persecuted, or falsely accused. Such people should go far away. They should get lost, for they are not a true brotherhood. Some people pass in through the window because they are not true brotherhood. If there is there anyone that is not accused, persecuted, disgraced, or spoken ill of as a brotherhood? Think over this case. Commit yourself unto fervent prayers, for you have not been chosen. Spiritual chorus. They have been seen, they have been seen, those who are without blemish, they have been seen. Brethren, have you now understood that the identity of the children of God constitute persecution, tribulation, false allegation, calumny, lies, blasphemous allegation? But you receive persecution with anger. You threaten to fight and quarrel with your persecutors. You react this way because you do not understand yourself. These things are things of joy. They embody the power, the salvation, the love, the goodness of God, and the testimonies that we have in this kingdom in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the golden text be re-examined. Golden text, Romans chapter 8, verses 16 to 17. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit 
that we are the children of God. And if children and hear, hear of God and join ears with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Bedwin, this is just the fulfillment of what was spoken. In time past, some people came and said that definitely you will go and beg them for food. So far, that reason when another group of people came, I told them to wait and see how the glory of God will be revealed in you, for they will be the one to come and beg you for food. What is the situation today? Have you not witnessed the fulfillment of all what the Father has said? I made a pronouncement that you shall be sent to India, to Russia, to America, to Yugoslavia, to China, Japan, to Israel, even within Nigeria and other parts of the world. And your entire families are saved. Can you compare the light suffering and persecution you have experienced to those few you have experienced those few days with the glory of this kingdom? You shall be flown to Asia and other parts of the continent. Is this not the time of the glory? Tell me how much you have suffered and starved now that foodstuffs are around you. Who can say anything about this glory and joy? This joy is an everlasting one. How many days do you pass through suffering? Tell me. Is it not only joy that reigns supreme in the throne of God? I have told you that all those who denounce brotherhood of the cross and star for the world shall weep. No matter the position they held, whether as a president, such will cry. Irrespective of what they are, as soon as they denounce this kingdom, everlasting tears and wailing shall befall them. Has it not come to manifestation? This is to show you that the words of God are true and we should all rejoice and be glad because we have passed into the new world. Hence, you are no longer mocked. Be joyous, make merriment, and shout for joy unto God. This is what is expected from the children of God. No cross, no crown. We examine the golden text. Golden text. Romans chapter 8 verses 16 to 17. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then hear, hear of God, and joint ears with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also glorify together. Partakers in Christ's sufferings and glory. Brethren, have you heard that? How many days did Christ experience tribulation? His lifespan on earth was only 33 years. And the last three days in the grave. And since then, does the glory bestowed upon him have a beginning? 
He is the ruler of heaven and earth till eternity. There is no more problem. In the case of Job, how many weeks or years did he pass through tribulation? But since then, the peace that he has is boundless. Consider Daniel, Moses, Abraham, and others. Even here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, take for, for instance, Sister Akpan. Because of her obedience, she is now honored like the Queen of England. She is more exalted than the Queen of England. Is she not? She is enjoying this glory, whereas her husband has gone on transfer because he refused to accept brotherhood. The respect and honor given to this sister overseas is marvelous. And consider Sister you done then. Whether she is here now or not, the father knows. The husband gave her very stringent conditions to choose between Abu and himself. In the end, the husband drove her out of his house. Mark you, this happened overseas. The husband took her and dumped her in a brotherhood battle and left her there. But what is the situation now, today, and what has happened? Is she not living a problem-free life today? I told her that every word of the Father shall come to fulfillment. That is why the word of God has it, that whosoever chooses God shall be saved. Christ said in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42, thus, Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, Thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. The reward for choosing God. Whosoever chooses the word of God has chosen eternal share in the kingdom. If you love God and the word of God, you shall have salvation. You are the luckiest person, and so you will not know any misfortune. If I should continue to recall those who have put in their best in the service of God, such as David, Peter, and John, they would be uncountable. However, you have not yet seen anything. Very soon you are going to see a lot in this kingdom. The white are trooping down here in great number. There is no more lamentation, there is no more luck, there is no death, sickness and tribulation. All those who forsake their houses for the sake of this kingdom would have houses too numerous to count. Similarly, all those who had one father or brother now have fathers, brothers, and houses. There is nothing more to be said. There is nobody who has the power to fight against the word of God 
who would question your resolution to belong to brotherhood. If you do not belong to brotherhood of the cross and star, where else would you belong? Is there any other thing? That is what I have for you. Hence, you are asked to tell the people. Spiritual Chorus It is only joy It is only joy that is found before the throne of the Lamb. Brethren, I have finished. We have finished. Are our words now not for just revelation? Therefore, each time we gather here, we are doing so to reveal the Word of God. Dance and thank God. Be generous by giving alms and accomplishing other things unto the Father as an expression of thankfulness for all that He has done. We should always speak about the glory of God and also give honor unto Him each time we are here because we are His vessels and instruments. Have you not seen the children of God that have come in here, we should all be satisfied with our position, for it is only joy that reigns supreme. Brethren, I do not wish to be tedious unto you. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let he who has ears hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.